This is from Viltrox. This is the Sprite 15C RGB light. It is a 15 watt power output light. It is a Kelvin of 2800 Kelvins to 6800 Kelvins, which means it goes from a really warm light to a really cool light. And it's also got a zero to 360 degree color phase. Don't actually know what that means, but we'll see if we can work it out as we go through it. Uh, on the back of the box, we've got um, some destructions for you to give you some outputs. Uh, we've got a maximum lumen, uh, a maximum luminance of 1,550 lux uh, at 0.5 of a meter. We've also got a maximum luminous of uh, 1,350 lumens. Uh, we've got a range of brightness between uh, 0 and 100%, and I have been on there and there was a good little scroll wheel on the back I'm going to show you. Uh, we've got a range of color phase, like I said, between 0 and 360. Uh, we've got a color rendering index of RA95 and TLCI95. Don't know what that means. Please explain. Uh, I'd love to know. Power interface uh, type C, 5 volt, 9 volts. So inside the box you get your instructions. Your instructions are very good if you're good at reading instructions, unlike me, uh, to tell you how to operate this. Uh, because I'm dyslexic, I don't do very well in, with instructions at all. Uh, it's just my fault, really. Uh, you also get inside the box, you get this. And it looks like a transistor radio. <laughs> Look at this. If you don't know what a transistor radio is, Google it. This looks like a little transistor radio that you would get uh, back in the 80s or the 70s, and I'm quite impressed with it. But that's the back of it, not the front. This is the front, which is where obviously your light illuminates from. And it's got like a, um, a matte finish to it, which means it will diffuse the light and soften the light for you uh, and work quite well. There's a few little holes in the side. I think these are air holes to let it breathe a little bit. And you've also got this perforation along the top. This is your mode button. Uh, you've got a mode button at the top. And you've also got a charge button at the bottom or a CHGR button. I'm assuming that's a charge button. Uh, there's a release on the top there for a battery. This is a battery compartment. You can slot a battery into it and uh, use a battery compartment. I'm just having a look and see if we've got any sockets on the bottom. You've got a USB-C socket so you can run this directly from a USB-C without a battery. I'm just going to check and make sure for you. Uh, USB socket, plug that in there. I'm just going to hit the power button. And away it goes you can see we've got power so you can run this without a battery in it or straight off a USB-C so if you've got a little power bank you should be absolutely fine there's a prominent on and off switch which I like you flip the switch across and it's a proper prominent on and off switch uh, it's not chargeable it doesn't hold a charge as you can see there. there's no power when it's not uh, connected to the USB-C or um, the battery it does actually come with a battery i'm going to show you that in a moment uh, this actually comes with a battery which is a fantastic thing because they don't always come with batteries and that is brilliant uh, so that's your battery lock to keep your battery in place um, while you're there it's got a battery type of np f 550 750 or 970 series okay so you've got several different sizes the battery that comes with this is actually a f 550 so this is the smaller of the three batteries you can actually put on the back of this and this one has a charging port a little USB-C charging port and when you plug this in you'll notice probably from the video if you can see it you'll notice you get these little lights just illuminate on the side there showing me that that's fully charged and uh, you've also got a button on the side there just to check the charge as you can see there I don't know if you can see it let's see if can tap the screen so you can see it you can see there that you can just check the charge and make sure it works so that's your battery. You slot your battery, two little holes on the side, lock it in. It doesn't fall off, it won't come off, it is locked in until you press the button on the top to release it. So it doesn't come off, it's going to stay there permanently. Right, so I'm not sure what the CH button is. I'm going to have to find out what that is. I think it may be for changing the different um, functions on it. So let's switch it on. Uh, switch it on, you've got this nice little display on the side here and it comes on standard. Every time I've switched it on so far it comes on to the uh, fast RGB as you can see it's flashing in the background as a big colour code as it goes through. So that's what it comes on standard. You've got this great big dial on the side, it looks like a volume button doesn't it? But this great big dial on the back there is brilliant for spinning your finger around and you can spin it all the way down really really quick uh, for your power output. At the moment it's on the power output there so from zero to one that's one and as I wind it up you can see that it gets quite bright and intense so I'm just going to wind that back down and you can wind it down very 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 quickly by spinning your finger around on it so I like that the mode button so let's just switch it on I'm going to put it on a one or a two so you can just see the light 
flashing on the white background there. So you press the mode button, go through to our different modes. This is on our Calvin mode, and then our oh, channel. Just realized what that is. That is a channel button, so you can set this up for different channels. Um, I'm ever so sorry about the way I do things, but this is me, it's standard, and it is raw and everyday usage. Okay, so we've got we're off two three percent. Uh, at the moment we are on um, 6,800 Kelvins. I want to press the mode button. I'm just going to try and work out how to get this to go down. Let's go back. Um, I want to work this out myself. I've got it. So we press the button in. So your, your spinny button that you roll your power up and down. If you press it, you go to your Kelvins. Now I want you to just to watch this box. You'll see that the box is um, quite a white light. And as I scroll this down, around to there as I scroll this down you will see it changes to a warmer light probably better on my face if you look at my face you see it's quite a warm light and as I spin it it goes up to the colder light so from 2800 to 6800 that's what gives you your different renditions of uh, warmth let's go to our modes again so flick over to our modes this is our color intensity uh, we can press the mode this is for changing colors. So if you can see there, I can go down to a blue, which is about 200, I think, something like that. Uh, so we go down to 225. Uh, and if you know the numbers, let me know, I'm interested. And then we've also got our uh, color, which is bright at the moment, and it's run it down, and you can see it tones itself down uh, the less you take the actual uh, saturation out. Again, I'm gonna go back to mode. We've then got our RGB, so you can set this up to red. We can give it 100% red, if that's what you want. Or we can go down, and you can actually set these color tones. There's a green, if you want green. We can set these color tones to the actual color and tone you want. So if you know which ones you want, let's go to yellow. So you can add each color tone where you want it, and it gives you exactly the tone that you want when you want it the built-in simulations for videos and stuff like that this one is on rgb we can flick it down and we can put it on to slow so it's changing colors nice and slowly or we can put it on to fast normal and you can see it's changing colors a lot quicker if we go down again to our scenes we've got our scenes this is our rgb scene we've got this nice um, pink warm glow this is what they call the love heart one this is for uh, that nice valentine's look to it and then we've got party party two you can see the way it's flashing and going mad then we've got red tones green tones you see it pulsating fast we've got blue and then as you flick through we've got lightning so this is when you're doing your videos if you're doing your video simulations and you want looks like you've got some lightning going on in the background that's what you use it for uh, we've got fire is that it looks like a fire scene all these are going to be in your instructions so you can see what these little symbols are like and what they're actually doing we've got a flash looks like a camera flash we've got a broken bulb i think that is looks like there's a broken bulb above your head you can see it flickering and this is what they do you've got all these different color scenes you've got welding scene we've got sos sos is a great function i think everything should have an sos built into it because if you're out and about and you break down and you're stuck and you've got one of these lights you can just leave it flashing and someone will come and help you that's what sos is for uh, let's go through again to our other modes we've got a candle uh, looks should look like a simulator candle you can see it's just flickering on the box and we've got a fire again it's flickering like a fire this is all for your video modes tv rockets like fireworks we've got also um, police fire engine ambulance and so on and so forth so i actually think this is a really really good little light and well made and it also comes with a um, hot mount shoe so you've got a quarter inch thread on the bottom and there's a, there is actually a pin to hold it square so it doesn't twist on the top so it holds it in and locks it in, in place and then when you do is you just put it on the top of your camera on your courtroom mount lock it down and then when you're doing your videos you can actually switch it on put it onto a white mode let's go to white mode and then you can do your still life or you can do your modeling and you've got this nice warm modeling light or well, this one's actually cold at the moment let's go to a warm light so we flick it all the way down all the way down you can see this nice warm light for doing your photography and taking pictures um, so yeah it's really really good and this tilts down as well you can have it at a different angle uh, depending on where you want your light 
So for me, I actually think that's well designed. I think it's got good functionality and very, very easy to use and quite stylish to look at. Uh, and the fact that you can run it off of a power bank or a battery, because I find that when they charge, if they run out of charge, you've then got to plug them in. If you've got a battery, you can take this battery off, you can put another battery on and you're good to go straight away. So I think that's quite a good little um, function. Not had that before on one of these lights and I do like it. And I do like this big power button very easy to use, very easy to press. You can spin it with your finger and it operates really, really fast. So yeah, thanks for watching the Sprite 15C. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da.